It is election eve in Pennsylvania, and people will head to the polls tomorrow to vote for candidates in state, county, and municipal races. Bureau of Election Officials are dotting the I's and crossing the T's, and tonight the spotlight is on Luzerne County. They've had some issues recently, including during preparations for tomorrow's big election. WBRE 28, WYRU 22, Eyewitness News, I team reporter Annie Mahalshik looking into just how ready Luzerne County is. He reports live from your local election headquarters in Wilkesbury. Andy, what have you learned? Well, good afternoon, Nick and Ken. Well, voters tell me that they still have serious doubts and concerns about whether or not Luzerne County officials can pull off an election without any kind of problems based on their previous history. But county election officials insist, and they point out, they say they do not expect any major issues tomorrow. How confident are you in that tomorrow will go off uh, without a hitch? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm extremely confident that uh, we'll have no issues. So says Aaron Harvey, the deputy director of elections for Luzerne County. Luzerne County has faced issues in recent elections. In 2020, nine military ballots were tossed into the garbage, prompting a federal investigation. No criminal wrongdoing was found. Human error was determined to be the cause. In May of this year, electronic ballots were mislabeled. Again, human error was to blame. In recent weeks, problems were found with mail-in ballots sent to voters. Some races were incorrect. Harvey insists the problems have been worked out. The staff has been working uh, very hard, uh, management and staff, to make sure that we have no issues tomorrow, because I know, like you said, we've had some issues here in Luzerne County in the past, but overall very confident that tomorrow is going to go over very smoothly and very well. Interim County Manager Ramilda Crocomo tells the I-Team safeguards have been put into place to avert issues. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell the voters as they head to the polls tomorrow? Uh, I want to tell the voters that we are ready, uh, that they should be confident uh, in uh, their vote being counted. Uh, we have initiated uh, a lot of different uh, protections and protocols, uh, and we are ready, and I encourage everyone uh, to vote. We saw a steady stream of voters dropping off their mail-in ballots at the Bureau of Elections in Wilkesbury. Elaine Klukowski talked about the job facing Erin Harvey and her staff. Are you confident in the vote tomorrow that everything will go smoothly? Yes, I think she's trying to do a very good job. We discussed that at home the other night and people are here to help out and do the best they can. So yes, I feel very confident. Joan Saluski had issues with her mail-in ballot and spoke to Harvey about her concern. I had to drive 250 miles today to get in because I didn't receive my absentee ballot. And uh, this is the last several elections it's been like this. But now with Aaron in charge, I think maybe hopefully things will be different. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll take a closer look at this off-year election and pose the question of voters. Will they turn out tomorrow? Reporting live from the local election headquarters in Wilkesbury, Andy Mahalshi, 2822 Eyewitness News. Andy, thank you.